hello and welcome my dear friends welcome to a review of a mobile fountain pen i present to you this interesting chef for no nonsense fountain pen i recently acquired it was part of a lot i already have this in my collection and i will show it to you in a minute but uh, i bought it because i got it for a reasonable price so i bought it among this interesting uh, sheffer and you got to love this celluloid i paid for both of them around uh, 300 lace so um, approximately 60 euros or 62 63 american dollars and uh, of course the most expensive item was this item but uh, let me put uh, this here for a moment i uh, paid for this only 50 lace 50 lays is the equivalent of uh, 10 approximately 10 euros or 11 us dollars but what is interesting about this piece and um, this is the reason that i wanted to uh, present to you this piece is the nib so if you are interested in the review of both a simple chef or no nonsense and i call this the music edition i will leave uh, the link to the video right over here guys but also to another special one the black um, version the classic le, uh, um, right over here and uh, of course i will present the, both of them in those reviews what can i tell you what is interesting about this piece guys is not uh, the price but the interesting nib so this is the isn't a simple nib as you can see it's an italic f nib made in the usa and uh, i'm quite curious to see how this writes in comparison the other ones i believe they are uh, quite uh, ordinary needs this one is also steel judging by the way it presents itself i believe that this is an f nib but i have also the other one which i believe is uh, gold uh, plated let me see and yes i was right uh, i need to zoom on them so bear with me for a second guys yes this is a gold plated one and we have m here um i'm quite curious to see how this italic nib writes what can i tell you about the line no nonsense this is a relatively modern uh, line it was introduced in 1969 and it was inspired by the classic Sheffer flat tops from the 1920s. By the way, guys, I will leave also a video, a link to a video with the Sheffer flat tops from the 1920s to see what uh, I mean. I don't have one right here at this moment, or maybe I do. Let me see, guys. I will um, search for a beautiful one from the 1920s i hope i can uh, yes i think i have one right over here so it's all the way to the top here yes so this is a wonderful example of a flat stop from the 1920s and the design is quite quite similar let me put this beautiful pen over here and uh, let me show you our fountain pen so you can see the design is quite simple uh, like a bar like a tubular uh, thing a simple tubular design and this is from the 1920s so you can see some similarities including in the clip that ends in this ball shape the difference the main difference is the filling system we have here a lever filler as you can see and the modern ones they use proprietary cartridges 
and one of uh, them is right over here so this is the original cartilage and i wanted to share with you guys so we have here sheffer skip skip cartilage jet black it has uh, this ending to it but interesting enough the last one i acquired has uh, this um, international type of ink cartilage and i want to show it to you guys so this one it uh, fits this type of uh, cartilage of course it's not a proper fit as you can see but it does the uh, job i guess like this and let me check the other one i don't know if uh, uh, i believe that this doesn't have an ink cartilage to it no but the same system right over here and uh, now guys without further delay i will uh, show uh, this interesting one let me compare it with this Le black version uh, which is um, quite interesting it has some gold plating uh, motifs to it so first of all the clip the gold band as you can see here i've already shown you the um, nib which is uh, of course gold plated and the other difference is uh, this uh, little uh, small ring over here so let me return to our chef for no nonsense so this is the Le black this is the music version with that interesting cap and this is uh, quite simple the main difference i already told you is this interesting italic f nib and i can hardly wait to see if i can write uh, something with it of course for the writing sample i will need another cartridge and i hope that i can find one available and uh, let me search for one i did not came prepared and i also have my notepad over here and um, we will do the writing sample before i will do the writing sample on this side of my notepad i will leave the dimension of uh, this fountain pen on the screen and again i um, i'm trying to see if i can find i have seen here several cartridges why not yes i think i have here a schneider one so schneider made in germany and i see i think i still have a, a cartridge yes it will be a blue cartridge and we'll see if i can fit it let me put this over here guys and um, of course i will change slightly the angle of the camera and now i am ready to to do the writing sample so like this it will take some time for the ink to reach uh, this section and um, we'll see if i can uh, fit it so uh, we have this ball here and uh, let me see if i can break it yes now i'm simply applying some pressure on it and we see the ink has reached um, that part i'm quite pleased with it for the moment i will try to write something uh, okay let me put back the barrel so what do we have here guys we have an interesting sheffer fountain pen but it uh, does not want to write let me place a little bit of ink and 
okay let me see if i can get it started so a shuffle whoa it writes wonderful a shuffle no nonsense this is a wonderful pen it was made in the usa let me give a little zoom yes made in the united states of america uh, i bought it for around 10 euros approximately 10 euros or 50 lays or let's say approximately 11 us dollars i will leave the correct exchange rate on the screen okay made in the usa uh, fitted with a steel nib it is an italic nib italic nib very very interesting nib uh, okay my friends let me test this nib to see if we have some uh, uh, flex to it and we will test it like this and interesting enough i won't call it flex it has a little bit of a line variance but it certainly is characteristic of the uh, italic nib so i mm, i won't call it a flex so no flex no visible flex but it has some uh, interesting interesting line lines to it so uh, as you can see it is a pretty juicy nib and i am curious to see if we have some line variance so here no pressure guys and here i'm starting to apply pressure and no visible no visible line variance to it i'm pretty sh uh, curious to see if we can reverse right with it let me see right here so reverse reverse writing uh, it does not scratch, but you can see it loses the ink flow. So I will say no to reverse writing. And uh, why not? Now I can tell you about the quick brown fox. So the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog what can i tell you guys i simply love italic nibs i love the oblique nibs so this uh, seems to me like an oblique one with a very very interesting uh, way of writing i can say that i need more italic nibs in my collection i hope that i will find more or at least the oblique ones on the old vintage uh, models. This was the review of the Shefford No Nonsense, the black simple version, but fitted with a wonderful steel nib, an italic nib. And although I bought it for this wonderful piece as a lot, I'm not disappointing of acquiring also this one with a wonderful, wonderful italic nib tell me what you think guys of course this is a workhorse it's not uh, an expensive one and i bet that those italic steel nibs are not so expensive and um, i'm not so sure you can fit other type of nibs i'm not so sure that if you you can unscrew this and fit another nib but um just try this italic nib and i think you will uh, also like uh, how it uh, writes so this was the review guys tell me what you think about uh, the chef for no nonsense fitted with the strange nibs in this case the italic nib i want to wish you to have a nice day my friends wherever you are i will see you in the next episode till then bye bye my dear friends and God bless you all.